Hi, and welcome to ZTech. I'm my name is Johnny Z, and today we're going to be talking about Wi-Fi and why it's so important. And why, when I'm working at the retail store that I'm working at, everybody, I mean, it, every two minutes somebody's buying a router, a switch, anything that has to do with Wi-Fi. So I'm going to tackle this. Is this so important? And people need to be educated on this thing you know if you want good Wi-Fi in the house and you have you know quite a few people in your home using the Wi-Fi at the same time it's important you get something good cheap doesn't mean good in Wi-Fi standards plain and simple okay so let's start let's start this off first things first anything below $100 for a router do not buy stay away from unless it's on sale um, the reason being is a router below a hundred dollars will get you maybe 10 feet of signal tops if you're lucky the more expensive routers once you start going up in price the 150s the 170s the 200s and the 250s that in in that section you're looking at AC 2600, uh, AC 3150, uh, anywhere in that range, you're looking at a good router. It has the power to penetrate walls in both 2.4 and 5 gigahertz. Plus, um, you won't. Uh, the majority of your dead zones in your house will just stop. But there's another method that here that uh, there's just got released and everybody's uh, starting to jump on is Wi-Fi mesh but we'll cover that in a couple of minutes so first things first okay if you live in an apartment one floor you know 800 square feet less than that whatever a cheapo router will do you fine if it's two people or just yourself non-issue so you can skimp out on that and that's not a problem but okay and this is a huge but if you have uh, for instance, a two-story home with a basement or a three-story home or even a ranch-style home which is spread out big time, you definitely have to go with a more powerful router. So you're looking at least from $120 to bare minimum to about $200 to $250 for a good router. I mean, you can go and spend three, dollars $400 on a router, but quite honestly, those routers are overkill they're not needed uh, it's just more you know it's they're meant for gamers you know they it's all marketing bullshit okay ignore those those I mean if you want to spend the money spend the money uh, who am I to say you know what uh, what you can do with your own money but if you want to be reasonable about about this do not skimp <clears throat> also if you have um, let's say a router and a modem from one of your for uh, for one of your uh, what's it called the uh, ISPs for instance <coughs> Bell Canada um, their Wi-Fi portion of their modem is crap it can do at most one floor I have customers coming and telling me well my Wi-Fi is not strong enough I don't get anything in the bedroom and the first thing I say is do you have <coughs> Bell Canada and they say yes so I say, well, there's your problem. And first of all, I do not recommend uh, extenders at all. They're a complete waste of money. I mean, what they do is okay. It's not the best, but it's taking a signal and just pumping it up more and shooting it to a different part of the house. Now, the problem with that is it creates a separate SSID. So in other words, if your house is, if your router is named Bob, and you go upstairs to your room you have to switch to the Bob underscore EXT um, uh, what's it called uh, SSID to log on plain and simple so what that makes you do is you're not free to roam throughout the whole house without changing anything especially if you're using your phone or your tablet you have to change the uh, the uh, the network so that's kind of a pain in the butt so forget about the the extenders they're not worth your time they're not worth your money they're not worth the headache of trying to set them up just get yourself a router in that range that i've been talking about 
TP-Link makes some good routers in that price range. D-Link makes some good uh, good um, uh, routers in that price range. Uh, price range also. Those are the two that I currently recommend like crazy. Now, if you want the Cadillac, the Mercedes-Benz, the BMW of routers, then you get an Asus router. And don't get me wrong, these things are amazing. They work really, really well. They're excellent routers, but they come at that same premium price. It's just like back in the days when you bought a Sony TV, you paid a premium for a Sony TV. So stick to the to the mid-range brands and get the most bang for your buck so by putting by replacing or putting one of those modems in your first floor or in your basement you'll be able to get all the floors in the house covered no problems and if you're lucky enough you can get a little bit outside also you know you'll probably get you know one or two bars missing um but it'll be just fine for like casual surfing on the net or you know on your laptop or on your phone in the backyard or in the front yard whatever wherever you like to have your cigarette or you, you would like to have your coffee or your drink you'll be able to get that and you'll be able to enjoy it really i mean that's what it comes down to but it's with only those mid-range priced item, uh, routers do not cheap out you're just taking it home setting it up wasting your time coming back to me at the store saying it doesn't work and I'm gonna say well you should have bought this this is what I recommended and this is what I wanted to tell you about so please please Wi-Fi is important Wi-Fi is almost like a utility in the house everybody wants to have it everybody wants to have it working properly nobody wants to, have to suffer through dead zones everything needs to work great so there's harmony in the house you parents out there know how this is I've gone through it. I'm the IT guy for the house. It's a pain in the ass. Now everything's working great. Every piece of the house is, it picks up a signal. No problems whatsoever. And, you know, everybody's quite happy about that. And that's that's what it comes at the end of the day. It, a good router should disappear in the house. You will forget it's there because Wi-Fi will be uh, everywhere. If you're having Wi-Fi problems, then you're going to recognize, well, there's my piece of shit uh, Wi-Fi, my router. If you have a good one, don't worry about it now if you really want to do the ultimate thing then wire up your house with cat 6 or cat 5e I mean that's the best thing you can do but again a lot of people are not going to start fishing wire through their through their home if you buy or if for instance <coughs> excuse me if you buy a, a pre-built or a, a brand new home uh, sorry a brand new home get them to put in cat 5 or cat 6 in the whole house and run into all the places in, in the bedrooms and in all the rooms so then everything's hardwired and you will never see a problem in that case that's the beauty of it but 90 percent of us cannot do that or don't want to sit there and fish network cable throughout the whole house spend you know weeks and days and cutting up uh, parts of the wall to run this stuff through a good wi-fi router will solve your problems solve your headaches and life will just go on smooth as uh, smooth as uh, silk so what I recommend remember from over a hundred dollars to about 250 that's the price which you should be looking at the models you should be looking at forget about N do not get N uh, what's it called Wi-Fi N it's old technology it's slow technology get the AC routers AC uh, 2600 uh, and higher is your best bet you can get away with the uh, with the night uh, 1900 do not go below that I strongly recommend do not go below 1900 anything below that is not powerful enough to cover a three-story home or a two-story home with a basement okay that's the most important thing now if you live in a big home huge unlike this oh my hair's a mess from work whatever anyways um the next best thing and this is really good and this is really cool is a wi-fi mesh system and that what that does google first came out with it uh it's roughly around 400 dollars, okay but at that price range if you get it at, on sale it's about 350 this is the ultimate this is like the advil to your wife like the, the before what i was talking about was the tylenol uh, uh sort of cure this is the advil cure 
what uh, Wi-Fi mesh does is you get uh, three little pods. They're like yay big. I have nothing really to show you. But it's like eh, yay big, okay? So you put one on each floor. So one in your basement where your modem is, one on the main floor, and one on the top floor. So what this does is that it creates a mesh where all three of the pods communicate and talk to each other. Okay, this is the bonus thing about it. So wherever you move in the house, there's always Wi-Fi there. And it's constantly sort of drapes the whole house in this mesh, and it's co co uh, totally covered. So it can cover anywhere between 3,000 to 6,000 square foot homes. If your home is even bigger, or let's say wider like a ranch home, you can get extra pods that you can add along the house. And again, everything is covered. Everything is great. You won't have any problems whatsoever but the technology is expensive but here's the saving grace <clears throat> first it was Google and they were there for a while now TP-Link, D-Link, Asus um, several of the other smaller brands excuse me that I can't remember right now are also uh, are also making uh, Wi-Fi mesh uh, networks or systems so Roughly right now, from what I remember off the top of my head, the D-Link uh, cover, which is sort of this teardropish shaped pod, um, you can get it in a two-pack, which is roughly around 250, or a three-pack for about 350. But again, you can always add other ones later if you if you need. And again, it covers the house and it's sort of a mesh, so no matter where you move or what you do, there's no interruptions, no nothing. There's no dead spots. There's absolutely nothing. The old way, or the old way, <laughs> the other way with with routers, you may have some dead spots or weaker spots. Uh, Wi-Fi mesh, there's no, there's none of that. Everything's strong. Everything's great. So if you got the money, I and you're having problems at home with your Wi-Fi, go with a mesh system. If you don't, go with the other method. Anyway, I think that's it for tonight. I'm pretty tired after a long day. Um, my name is Johnny Z. This is Z Tech News, and uh, we'll see you some other time. Take care.